How are we doing today? Nice to see you. Today, I'm just doing a low light test on the uh, EM5 Mark III. Uh, I got a request from Pauli Pastavazul on YouTube for my last video, uh, requesting to see uh, how the EM5 Mark III performed in Cinema 4K in lower light situations. Well, currently, we're not in a super low light situation. Well, I mean, I guess I can consider it low light. I'm in, in my uh, room that I use for doing video, and uh, uh, there's no lights on. There's just a window light. And in order to expose me the way I am right now, which is, I would say, the way I would look if you walk in the room, I have it set to um, 5,000 ISO. I'm set at my standard uh, 48 shutter speed, and I have my aperture at 3.5. I'm also, just so you know, that this is a uh, the 12 to 200 kit lens set at 12 millimeters. Oh, well, actually, yeah, I'm sure I'm looking at my uh, millimeter. That's another cool thing about uh, Olympus. Shows right on the screen what what uh, millimeters you're at. All right, shut up, Joe. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna do a series of different uh, low light examples. This is just how I'm starting it. Uh, I don't. I wasn't sure how low light he wanted to see, um, what kind of video he was planning on doing. So I asked for a couple examples. Said Night Street. So I'll do the best I can with that. And uh, like I said, this is this is pretty low light. I would say this is na natural light only and uh, 6400 ISO. So what you're going to see coming up is just some examples of Cinema 4K. Uh, shot with uh, the 12 to 100. I might switch to a, a wider aperture lens when things get darker, just to let a little more light in. Um, but I'm going to try to keep the ISO up high so you can actually see, you know, what you're going to get from the camera at higher ISOs. So, with no further ado, let's go ahead and do some tests. It's dark. Oh. Let there be light. <laughs> 400 ISO, 1.4, 16 millimeters. I don't know. One light, it's pretty low light in here. In fact, it's dark. So I just have this one light shining on me. All right, we got 1600 ISO. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, dark outside. I've got the uh, one light on in the room. I'm at my 48 shutter speed. I'm at F4 for my aperture. And that's the light we got on right there. So I would say uh, 
indoor light, 1600 ISO, this is what you can expect for your low ISO performance. Sorry, I thought I saw something outside the window. <laughs> so, in closing, I gotta say that the uh, OMD EM5 Mark III does uh, okay in low light. I mean, it's not a, a low light beast by any uh, stretch of the imagination, but generally in video, you gotta have some sort of light source. It doesn't really matter you know, what system you're using, you're definitely going to want to have light. The, the picture even looks that much better with light added to it. So, um, I don't know, I think the fitters look pretty good. But we're going to see. I've only looked at it very briefly in the uh, as I loaded it into the editor. So, I'm going to go ahead and edit all this together. I didn't get any street scenes in there, but I've got uh, just interiors. I wanted to get the video done pretty quick and uh, I've been quite busy, but it'll at least give you a good idea of what Cinema 4K looks like uh, at higher ISOs, lower light conditions. Hopefully it helps and uh, you can make it a more informed decision on whether the OMD EM5 Mark III is something that you would be interested in. So uh, right now in the room I'm at uh, 800 ISO on a uh, 25 millimeter f1.8 and uh, I've got one light on overhead here it's just a, uh, a chandelier light and I've got um, a couple of Christmas lights on behind me that's that's all we have for lighting right now so um, I think it's doing pretty good um, I can see the exposure and uh, it, look, it looks pretty good so I'm going to drop it in the editor, put this uh, video together, and upload it to YouTube and uh, get it out there. So I hope, uh, Polly uh, Fastavazul, this helps you uh, to make your decision. And uh, thanks for asking the question. I'm more than happy to uh, make video replies to uh, any questions I get. So, you know, feel free. Uh, if I can help somebody, uh, I'd be more than happy to. So, uh, in my opinion, if you're looking to shoot in the dark, this is probably not your camera. Um, A7S, Sony is probably going to be the camera you want. If you're going to add some light to your scene or use some uh, light that's available, and I say this is a more than capable camera for shooting 4K, 1080, whatever, I think it'd be a, it'd be a fine camera. Um, and like I said, you can see that one example where I literally was in a dark room. I turned on one light and that's the difference it makes. So, you know, in photography and video, light is key. And it's in the name, photography, painting with light. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the question. I uh, hope you all have a great day and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.